Dragon Post Written and illustrated by Emma Yarlett One day, I found a dragon. I hoped it would stay. I'd always wanted a dragon. But this little dragon looked like it might set fire to the house. So I did the obvious thing. I wrote to the fire brigade. They would know what to do. Finally, I got a letter back. I dried it off and opened it up. Urgent. Dear Alex, goodness me, a baby dragon in your house? Crikey, it must be lost. As well as being really scary, dragons are a serious fire hazard, especially young dragons. If you have to keep it, and I really think you should not, then make sure it is moist at all times. You never know when it might erupt into flames. Golly, just thinking about it is bringing me out in a sweat. Hang on. Phew. I just had to dunk myself in a bucket of cold water to calm down. I suggest you do the same with the dragon. Douse it in water right away. Yours frightfully, Henry Drond. P.S. Crikey! So I did as I was told. The dragon loved it. I could tell. Later we were hungry. I made my best jam sandwiches. The dragon was not a fan, but I knew just who to ask about dragon food. Dear Alex, your dragon sounds delicious. I bet it would taste marvellous with potatoes, peas and carrots. Mmm, mmm. I'm not surprised your dragon didn't like the jam sandwiches. Dragons eat meat. Lots of meat. Because your dragon's so young, it will still have a lot of growing to do, so you should fatten it up with some juicy meat. Please find our latest meaty offers on the back of this letter. I wonder if I could taste, uh, eat, uh, meet your dragon at your earliest convenience. Perhaps I could have your dragon over for dinner. I suppose you could come too if you have to. My tummy's already rumbling. Look forward to eat, um, meeting your dragon. All the very best, Mr Angus Teak. The dragonette. 23 steaks. 10 hams. And half of my umbrella. His thank you roars were very loud. Maybe a bit too loud. I opened the letter very carefully. Dear Master Alexander of Draco Way, we are writing to you as legal representatives for your neighbour, Mrs. Arabel Smirk. We must complain in the strongest possible terms about the heat, smoke and, most importantly, terrifying roaring coming from your home. Our client is not sure what you are up to, but it must be something very naughty. And whatever it is, as she wholeheartedly does not approve, it is so noisy that it is upsetting her rock collection and making her potted plants sad. Our client does not like this very much. Please take steps to correct this problem as soon as possible. Understand that if you do not, we will be taking further actions. Yours legally, Petrodantic, P. Nickety, Dantic and P. Nickety solicitors. We said sorry to next door, and my dragon tried to be quiet. But it's hard when you're growing so big in such a little house. We needed help 
professional help. I wrote another letter. The reply arrived just in time. Dear Alex, thank you very much for your letter. How exciting to have such a rare and endangered species living with you. Everyone here at the World Animal Welfare is very jealous. We hope that your home is large enough to accommodate this young dragon. Dragons can grow very big very quickly indeed. We recommend a large property, perhaps a castle. It is important that your dragon has enough room to move around freely. We think he may be suffering from cramped indoors-itis, which can be terrible. We, we prescribe that you take your dragon for one flight every day. Working together, we can protect the animal kingdom. Yours wildly, Bernard East. Mr. Beast, Director of World Animal Welfare. P.S. Sorry about the bite marks. A tiger has just paid us an unexpected visit. So, when the world was fast asleep, we crept outside and soared into the sky. We were happy together. I loved my dragon, and I wished he could stay forever. But I don't think dragons are made to be pets. I wasn't sure what to do, so I wrote to the wisest person I know. She wrote back straight away. Alex's dragon. To Alex, wow, a dragon? That is so exciting. He sounds the best. Dragon's my favourite after unicorns. Oh dear, it does sound like your dragon is very big and your house is only normal sized. He really can't live with you forever. He needs to find his own place, with plenty of room to flap about. If I was a dragon, I would want to be free. Maybe he should live somewhere a little bit more like this. P.S. Much as you love your dragon, it might be time to let him go. Love from your best friend, Hilary. P.S. Give your dragon a pat on the head and a nice bun from me. I showed my dragon the letter, and he beamed and sparkled. We spent a final day together. We didn't want to say goodbye, but we knew it was right. I missed my dragon. I would never forget him. I hoped he would never forget me. Then. One day, I got some posts, and it was... Dragon Post!